My name is Michael Belmore, and the piece I have in the exhibition is Resistance. It is comprised of three materials, uh, silver, steel, and a river rock. Um, the silver is actually um, hammered uh, using a technique called chasing a repose, where I form the, the silver so that it sort of looks like water in a river and the rock is sort of set into the silver so that it looks like how the water would flow around in a, in a gentle way. There's a lot of history that goes into the piece which isn't necessarily viewable in the work. It's sort of, uh, I've sort of imbued it with my history, it's the histories of where I come from. And so um, the native people, I'm Ojibwe, uh, on, from the North Shore of Superior, and treaties were signed early on um, in the development of Canada, and those treaties were essentially to secure the rights to the mining uh, because they found copper and gold on the shores of Superior, so they wanted to secure the rights. The silver is to be representative of that. So in a sense, the silver looks like a snapshot. It's sort of like uh, a moment in time frozen. So at certain angles, you sort of get that glistening, that glistening that you get when you're sitting on the shore and you're looking at water and, and it has that brilliance. And that's the thing about silver is it has that brilliance, it has that shine. And so I wanted to speak to the preciousness of the water and the history of Superior. It's part architecture, part building, part, you know, um, even piers. I'm really interested in piers and so I wanted to have that feeling of that you know, support or structure beneath the surface. And also I like the precariousness of the, the piece, the stand itself. It's very delicate. It's made out of steel, but it's extremely delicate. If that thing falls over, all those legs are gonna bend because there's no, there's no structural support on the lower part. And for me, I did that purposely just to sort of um, make it precarious. It has that little bit of, um, well, I mean, it's, it's almost like engineering, like buildings, how they're constructed and how they just seem s delicate when you, you see them being built. And then they put the facade on and then it looks strong and sturdy, but at times it doesn't. The point is that these materials come from a certain place and they have a certain language and a certain, in a sense, way of breathing. And the way they breathe is the way that people read them. And so I sort of am trying to bring together certain materials so that they are able to speak to the viewer um, in a very calm and subtle way. So um, I sort of mentioned before, in a sense, I'm an environmentalist, but I'm not a person who will, you know, hit you over the head. I, I find it better to, it's easier to, um, get people to talk if they don't realize they're talking about something. And um, so I think it's, a, it's an easier way to create a dialogue through beauty, basically.